right guys, we are down here at the bench. We're gonna do a quick little shooting. Me and my daughter for the Halloween spirits. We're gonna shoot, first we're gonna shoot a little five shot group to make sure the rifle, this is my normal 1022 with the uh, match barrel and Bajan stock, I think it's called. Um, they don't sell them anymore, it's a nice little stock. But um, same same rifle I always shoot uh, for 1022. Uh, nothing's really changed on it, same scope, same everything. We're gonna start off with a little five shot group, make sure we're on, and then we are going to try and carve a pumpkin with it. And if that don't work, we're gonna blow it up. Well, I don't know about blow it up. Don't expect explosives. <laughs> All right, let's start off with the five shot groups here. Um, uh, first couple shots are gonna be, oh shit. <laughs> Me dropping my thing here. Uh, first couple shots are gonna be just making sure it's even on. It's been a while since I shot it. We're gonna shoot Some Norma Tac 22. It's a new, uh, new brand that I just picked up. Um, if you remember correctly, when we did the accuracy testing of this gun, I shot some Norma Match, and it ended up being, I think, the best. Let me see how many I shot out of it. Yeah, I only shot 10 shots out of it, but ended up being the most accurate. So I'm gonna try the Tac 22 today, and. Um, yeah, try that out. And if it's all over the place, not very accurate, then we'll move to normal match. So when I talked to Eli from uh, Day at the Range, he said this TAC-22 should be really good. Uh, and I accidentally got match 22, which that was, did end up being. So if you don't remember, we tried um, Ely Target, Rifle Match SK, Ely 22 Bentrust Outlaw, semi-auto, and Norma Match 22. Out of that, the best shooting one ended up being match 22, uh, the Norma, and then second best, right behind it, ended, ended up being the SK Rifle Match. Oh, it's so greasy. So greasy. Alright, first couple shots, gonna be just me making sure it's... Because this is sighted in for CCI, um, Old Faithful there, uh, CCI, what the hell, Standard Velocity, or whatever that shit's called. I call it Old Faithful because it's just really reliable. All right, you're gonna see two little black dots. So I picked up uh, some little uh, little pasties, um, <laughs> some little pasties, and I went with. I'm pretty sure these are three quarter inch pasties. I wanted to try, uh, you know, because like you always, like they always say, uh, aim small, miss small. So I wanted, uh, as you guys know, my normal dots are the half inch little uh, fluorescent orange. So I wanted to go a little smaller. So I got some white three quarter inch pasties and uh, some black three quarter inch pasties. So I'm gonna order, uh, we're gonna do the groups on the little black dots. To the left of that, I'm gonna shoot to make sure the scope is on. One inch low, one inch right. Actually, we this was sighted in um, for not even the CCI. It was sighted in for CCI, but remember we shot the Blazer, yeah. and that stuff was uh, supersonic. So, all right, 
Let me try another little test group. All right, pretty much on. It's maybe a hair. It don't really matter where it is because we're going for groups. Um, I just didn't want it that far off to begin with. All right, so let's load this back up. So far, this uh, TAC-22 is pretty damn accurate. Oh, God, I hate the greasiness. You're going to hate this. Oh, <laughs> You're used to CCI and... CCI has a little bit of wax on the end of their yeah. bullets, but it seems like all the new match ammo, oh god, I'm not really sure what the wax is for, I I think it's for, um, I don't know, so what I've heard is they put the wax on it so it can wax down your barrel, or, you know, so the little lead bullet goes, I, I don't know, wax your barrel down or whatever, or, or uh, coach your barrel. Um, because they say going from one, uh, one target ammunition to the next, you want to shoot five shots before you go for your group yeah. to get that wax. Because if you go from Ely, that's more of a wax, kind of like CCI, but CCI isn't even as bad as Ely. Uh, CCI don't really wax your bullets too much at all. Alright, my daughter is up first. Let her go do... There's 10 shots loaded, so go ahead and do a five shot group. Uh, which one you want, left or right dot? It's up to you, don't matter. Right one, okay. Uh, go ahead, you're good. Good, good, good. Stay, lay down. Stay. Nope, uh, you should be good. Uh, I might not have racked one back. There you go. It's all right, sit. Turn that off. You see your bolt holes? Okay, just making sure. Did you draw a face on it? Oh shit, I didn't count. Sorry. Hold on. One in the chamber. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, you got five. Alright. I'm gonna do my group now. And then we will try and carve a pumpkin. Oh god, these are so waxy. Holy cow. Okay, yeah. I thought I, I loaded five, but I had one in the chamber, so I would have shot six. But I think there's one more. Let me go shoot that at. Okay, a little steel. This should be unloaded. All right, let's go check the groups. All right, let's look here. I brought my calipers, but I didn't bring them down to the, the range here. So we ain't gonna be able to measure them. This is just for fun anyways. That's my group. That's my daughter's. I think she beat me. I don't know, we'll measure them up at the bench. This is the pumpkin we're gonna try and carve. And if it don't work, we're just gonna, we're gonna shoot it with some big calibers. Well, 
I don't know what big that was. The biggest caliber I got is, well, biggest caliber I have ammo for is 308, I guess. All right, so the target camera's on the pumpkin. I got my poppy down here. What you doing, girly? <laughs> you being a good girl? She had uh, her leg operated on for arthritis. For arthritis, and uh, she's doing good. It's been about a year now since the operation, and she's doing doing perfect. Torn ligament in her knee. There's torn ligament due to arthritis. Yeah. All right, so we're recording down there. We're recording. Take All right, let's do this. Now this might be an epic fail, and it may just like, <laughs> probably gonna go through and through and just make a mush mess. We just wanted to try it and see what the hell, <laughs> what would happen. We bought an extra pumpkin to carve, and uh, I figured that this would be the best way to carve it. Are we just taking turns, or? Yeah, we'll just take turns. Okay. It's gonna take a long time. I'll go for, huh? It's gonna take a long time. Yeah, it won't take too long. I mean, if it's not working and it's not really carving it out very good, then I'll, we'll just shoot it with the bigger, bigger caliber. We should do like three bullets each in a line. All right, I'm gonna do left eye. <laughs> yeah, it ain't gonna quite work. For one, this a ammo isn't quite accurate enough to do like the lines. Doesn't have to be perfect as long as we get a hole in there. And we'll go check see if it's going through and through. I do believe it is. It is. I thought it would to begin with. Uh, well, to begin with, it's subsonic, so I was thinking it probably wouldn't go through and through, but then I started thinking about it, and even subsonics going 1,083, so that. So I got one outside the line on the left, but it's such a precise bullet, yeah, you, you would need like probably 10 boxes of ammo. Uh, <laughs> Just to just to get, to get it. well, especially yeah. like she made the mouth really big. I mean, she made the mouth correctly, but yes, yes. like the mouth is going to be big. So doing the eyes would probably take only two boxes of ammo. But the so mouth. Why don't you try for the eyes? The mouth itself is going to take yeah, like Use the bigger round 10, 15 the... boxes at least. All right, so go for the right eye and just just. Right eye. Yep, yeah, uh, I went for the left. We're just going along. Yeah, just go inside the line. Stay inside as much as you can. I got one on the left side, out, outside the line, but it don't, it don't matter. It don't, none of it matters. We're just going to blow it up. Already know we're just going to. Oh, maybe I should have went for the right eye so you didn't have yeah, to shoot right? close to the camera. <laughs> My daughter's all worried about shooting the camera. She just shot a teeny little group, and I'm like, you didn't miss one a two feet left, did you? <laughs> See how little of a hole it makes? Honestly, what we should have done is it's going to probably do a bigger hole on the back side, so we should have drew the face on the back side. Well, you are aiming. True. So whatever's going to disperse yeah. the back around, <laughs> then you're going to have... <laughs> Shit's flying <laughs> off it. Because you've got the template, on the back, so whatever's on the back is going to look... Like it would do all ten rounds. All 
They are. Alright, now I'll do the nose. <laughs> Yeah, I'd like to see what it's going to look like. Yeah, we'll at least around. finish it. We'll, we'll do what we can. So, I want to compare on target this Match 22 and this TAC 22. I can order another box, actually. I'm not too worried about it. Because, funny thing is, with this Norma, Match 22 is a lot more expensive than the TAC 22. And what I've been seeing online is the majority of... Uh, people get more accuracy out of the TAC-22, the cheaper stuff. Alright, so now we're moving on to match 22. Come on, stop. Come. So I got Later. to shoot to make sure the scope, because anybody new to shooting and all this, any change up in bullet is going to change, most likely change point of aim. I mean, sorry, point of impact, not point of aim. As he hits the camera. Alright, um, I'm gonna shoot one up at the target up top. Alright, so it is just a hair high, hair right. Now let me put two just in case. Alright, go to the pumpkin. I'm going to hit the nose. Whoops. Oh. Just didn't load one. I'm gonna get a new mag. The spring in this 1022 mag is starting to. Alright, I think that's finally it. Alright, Cadence. Go for the mouth and just do... Stella, Stella, we're not going walking yet. You stay down. Come on, Hold on. All right, Dallin, you're ready to go. So just go ahead and hit the mouth. Try and just go from left to right on, on, on bullets. Uh, try not to, like, shoot out the whole mouth because it's just going to take too many bullets. Mm -hmm. hey, do you need to go up or down? Yeah. You good? Here you go. Let, Let me, me do one more so we can share it. Yep, go right ahead. You can do as many as you want. Alright. Go ahead and jack one in. Alright, go ahead. The camera down there stays running the whole time, but this one, so this camera shuts off anywhere between 10 minutes and like 17 minutes. so because a lot of people in the comments ask me why do you like why do you get up in the chair and break your cheek well because to do the best groups you want to stay on the gun the whole time through the all the ammunition and i can't with this camera i physically can't yeah. because if i were to do that it would just stop recording randomly well, yeah. if it gave me a set time every time then it would be a little better but it's random every time. 
All right, yeah, let's go. Make sure let's go check. Get the pumpkin. You, you, you. <laughs> oh, it looks so good on the back. Does it? Yeah. You want me to turn it? Yeah, uh, yeah, go ahead and turn it. So that's the front. Let me uh, zoom in here. You ready? I could have got a little more on my eyeball, but yeah, go ahead. Oh my God. Oh. See? Okay. That's hey, cool. Stella, don't eat the pumpkin. Get Stella. Stella. Get it. Go. <laughs> <laughs> she loves pumpkin. Come on, we'll eat pumpkin the up lid. there. None, none of that yucky stuff. Yeah, she ain't gonna get a bullet. She's good. I, I mean, know. I Still. I wouldn't let her eat too much of it. But. <laughs> you gotta figure the Doesn't piece. Doesn't that look good? Actually, maybe we won't blow it out. <laughs> that is all. <awesome>. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, if you guys came to see a pumpkin explode, I'm sorry. I uh, I, I think I'm gonna put this she on my porch. Tomorrow. And I'll buy another one, and yeah, we'll uh, we'll do that tomorrow. Or we'll blow up the ones that we already have. That's what after I mean. they actually, wrong. yeah, yeah. Tomorrow, that's what we'll do. Uh, we carve four total, well, three, and then this one, I guess. So tomorrow, day after Halloween, we'll uh, we'll blow up all the all the ones sitting on the porch. But that turned out great. <laughs> Holy hell! Because that's what I mentioned to begin with, that's like, the exits you. on the back is going to be bigger. So, like the mouth. you did cool. good on the mouth. Yeah, yeah good did. job, girl. Yeah, that's perfect. Well, there we go. That's my, you know, carving job. Well, me and my daughters, I guess. <laughs> it and, actually uh, looks like one I'll that. probably do this every year now. Right? This is going to be a yearly event. <laughs> I didn't know how good it would work. I love the big hole in the middle mm -hmm. in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> that is perfect. Well, all right, guys. Uh, guys, like this. You, you hit the like button. That, that would help me out a lot. And uh, guys, want to see more of this stuff? See some pumpkins explode uh, tomorrow? Then uh, subscribe. That help me out too. But uh, happy Halloween to all you guys. I appreciate you guys watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one.